is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today we have another two-in-one wwe elite figure review on the brand new wwe elite series 63 walmart exclusive bob Backlund and the wwe elite series 64 target exclusive pete done guys i am so very excited for both of these figures review especially pete dunn i'm gonna be honest i am a little bit biased towards this pete dunn figure just because you know bob Backlund. uh yeah you can slide over just a little bit we can just bask in the gloriness of this pete dunn figure but i do want to give a huge shout out to mattel for making this review possible thank them so much for sending us this pete dunn and bob Backlund figures as well as elite 63 shelton benjamin uh elite 63 chase variant shelton benjamin elite 64 Kurt Hawkins and Elite 64 Chase variant Kurt Hawkins. Huge shout out to Mattel for providing these figures for us to review. They are absolutely the best toy line in the business making our WWE Elite figures guys. But you can see here this is their packaging. You can see the beautiness of the figures in the front. You can see that uh, both of these guys are first time in the line and I don't know why they have first time in the line like that. Um, on Pete Dunn and on uh, Bob Backlund, it's like smaller down here, and you can see both of them are collector's edition. The reason they're collector's edition is because these are retail exclusives. You can't just buy these straight up. So what it is, is that if you want to find Bob Backlund, the only place you can find him is Walmart, and then if you want to find Pete Dunn, the only place you can find him is Target. That is the new retail exclusive um, that they're going to be dropping in each set going forward. So that is what makes them absolutely epic. If we slide them to the right, you can see a picture of Pete Dunn and uh, it says Bob Backlund's name on this side. I find this interesting. On the back of both of them, it doesn't show the Elite lines, which is kind of crazy. On the back of Pete Dunn, there's no rest of Elite 64. And on the back of Bob Backlund, you obviously don't see any of Elite 63. And as we spin it around, you have Pete Dunn's name over here, Bob Backlund over there. And that pretty much does it for their packaging, guys. So I guess we can go ahead and break them out of their packaging. So here we have the Bruiserweight Pete Dunn and Bob Backlund out of their packaging. Guys, at first glance, both of these figures are absolutely ridiculous, especially Pete Dunn. But I think the accuracy of Bob Backlund is very nice as well. You get some great accessories. I think that his boots are looking fresh down there. Really good head scan on that guy. Again, this is the first time in the line for both of these guys. So they are making their not only Mattel debut, but their Elite Figure debut. And I think they nailed both of them. But uh, we're going to take a closer look at both of them. We're going to start off with uh, Bob Backlund's accessories. Then Bob Backlund. Then we'll get it into Pete Dunn's accessories and Pete Dunn. So getting into Bob's accessories, guys, obviously we do get his interchangeable hands. Uh, every single figure comes with these now. You get two open hands. Obviously, two fists are already plugged into the Elite 63 Bob Backlund. So if you want to pop those in and out, you guys have seen me do that in the past. So I'm not going to display it here. But you do get the interchangeable hands, which is nice. I always appreciate two open hands and two fists fists you get this uh, WWE championship right here and you guys can see if we take a little zoom in shot that the globe logo on it is actually black I don't know if that's the first time they've done that uh, let me know down in the comment section below if we've gotten the black globe on this championship before I have no idea but the title's looking nice you know Mattel always delivers on their championship belt so it is looking nice right there and then I think my favorite accessory is this beautiful robe right here you get two parts to the robe um, this is not the same robe as the Damien Mizdow or San robe this is actually a little bit different you get some nice white piping on the side um, you can put it on and obviously he has two little drawstrings that you can pull together to tie it off in the middle like you guys saw in the last segment of the video so that is a nice beautiful cloth robe and then there's this towel accessory and it's a lot better than the Samoa Joe towel it's actually you know cloth it actually kind of feels like you know a rag or a towel material it feels like you could literally tear it in half if you wanted to but you fold that in half and you wrap it around his neck and you get the towel look. So I think this would be a lot better for guys like Jeff Hardy, for guys like Samoa Joe, The Revival. I think this is a much better way to do it. So now that we have covered his accessories, guys, let's get into Bob himself. So getting into Bob himself, guys, you can see this beautiful looking Bob Backlund head scan. He's got the pissed off look going on there. I think they nailed it with the true effects. I think it does resemble Bob Backlund a lot. They gave him the Bo Dallas torso, and this is a nice torso for Bob. I think it works great. You know, he wasn't too ripped up. He wasn't fat. He wasn't, you know, so he's looking good here with this torso choice. They gave him the bare arm 
arms. So these are the same exact arms we got with Ty Dillinger. I'm pretty sure his Elite 57 figure. Ty Dillinger, what are you, stupid idiot moron? I meant the Elite 63. Sami Zayn had these exact same arms, I'm pretty sure. Uh, going down, we do have a blue crotch piece, which looks good. No, he does not have ball joints, so you cannot switch out the thighs. Going down into the thighs, you guys can see he has good thigh size. I think that that's a perfect representation of Bob. We get some blue knee pads with some freaking effing scuffages on there. That's unfortunate. It does match the crotch piece, though, so that is very nice. Going down, you have those uh, Dean Malenko S lower legs. I'm pretty sure that's the same mold. I could be wrong, but I think that is. And then you have some nice black and white boots there to finish it off. I love the white outsoles. It really ties everything together with the white shoestrings. So Bob is looking good. I think they did a great job on Bob. But now that Bob's review is over, guys, let's get into the bruiser weight. So for Pete Dunn's accessories, guys, you do get the same exact interchangeable hands, I'm pretty sure, as Bob Backlund. You could literally mix up the two, and I don't think that it would make a freaking difference. So you do get the open hands, not only the fists. So the fists are good for posing him around. And then we do get his entrance jacket, and it is a cl not cloth material. It is obviously rubber. Here you guys can see the fur is sculpted on there and we do get his logo or his tattoo on the back of the thing You get a red color and it's just fur all the way around very nice entrance vest I'm glad they at least included this I would have preferred them include the UK championship since we've only gotten it what once So I think that's kind of unfortunate that uh, we've only gotten that title once I'm pretty sure so uh, they could have easily thrown it in, you know, that's what he's most known for, so uh, we do have that, but that pretty much does it for his accessories, not too much, and pretty much nothing at all, so now that we've covered that, let's get into the bruiser weight himself. So taking a closer look at Pete Dunn, guys, I wanted to zoom in here so you guys could get a really good shot of this head scan, I think they nailed it completely, you know, that smirky face that Pete Dunn displays, I think they nailed the true effects, um, you get the little, uh, the definition in those cheekbones there, you get the mouth guard, you get the, the snarled lip, you get the great haircut, and this is rubber, and um, I think the other side is molded, but this side is rubber, so I think if you wanted to re-sculpt that, you could remove it, I'm pretty sure. Um, it is a great head skin, though. I think they totally nailed that. I think it's one of the best head skins they've ever made. It's up there with the Elite 64 Seth Rollins. Going down in here, I'm pretty sure that this is a new torso mold. I don't think we've ever gotten this singlet look, I guess, because Pete Dunne does have sort of a, a weird style, a unique style to his singlet, the way it does that U-shape there. So I think that is a new mold that we're getting. On the side, you can see that it does say Bruiserweight and a really cool font. I can't remember the name of that font, but... Um, it is a really nice font, one of my favorite fonts. You got the maroon color with the white stripes. I think they nailed this completely. You got the black color on the back. Obviously, the whole singlet is in a color black. You have his bear logo or tattoo on the left side there with the stripes again. And one thing I will notice about this figure, guys, and something you do need to take note of, the way he is positioned in the packaging with his uh, rubber vest on, the way he's doing this or whatever, and the way it's like locked into place, you may want to be careful because the shoulders can get a tad loose. You can see mine's not, mine's not horrific, but it's definitely loose, and I'm going to have to do something about it. So definitely be sure to... Um, I don't know what you can do about that. I think that's just a Mattel packaging issue. So I really don't know what you can do. Maybe you'll get one better than mine. But you can see that both shoulders are a little bit loose. And I think that's because of the way they pose him in the packaging. So definitely take note of that. Going down into the arms, you just got regular black wrist tape arms. And then the uh, the crotch, he is not on ball joints. So you cannot switch out the legs unless you, uh, you do a crotch crack. So that is unfortunate. Um, I don't think the thighs are bad, but I think that, you know, maybe some people would want to switch those out. I don't think that you would be able to besides uh, crocking, uh, cracking the crotch piece. So uh, going down, you do have his beautiful tattoo on the knee. And then, of course, he doesn't wear knee pads, Brad, so he just goes straight down into his red his dual-toned red and black kick pad. So, what a perfect-looking Pete Dunne figure. I think it's a perfect figure. If it's not perfect, it's dang near close, Brad. I think they nailed it, and I'm very excited to add him not only to the MDT channel roster, but possibly the PickFed roster whenever he makes his debut. So, we have Pete Dunne right here looking great. And I'm happy with that, so let's go ahead and get into some Pete Dunne comparisons. So for your Pete Dunne Elite comparisons, guys, you can see here he is up next to Alistair Black, Tommaso Ciampa, Tyler Bate, 
Adam Cole and Johnny Gargano. I just figured why not throw a bunch of NXT guys in here and see what it looks like. But uh, you can see they look really good up next to each other. We are getting closer and closer to filling up our NXT rosters. Obviously, we'll never fill them up because uh, we get new guys coming into NXT as they release the figure. So that's unfortunate. But uh, great looking roster right here, guys. But let's go ahead and see what Pete Dunne looks in some different championships. So here we have Pete Dunne with his United Kingdom championship looking absolutely terrific, guys. I love this so very much. You can see there, it pretty much completes the figure to a T. I think it makes it a perfect figure. You cannot pose this thing around without his UK title. I wish you could put it in his mouth, but uh, maybe somebody will make a custom head scan or something like that. But here he is with the UK Championship. Here he is with the current day NXT Championship. Here he is with the current day WWE Championship. And here he is with the all-powerful WWE Universal Championship. But that pretty much does it for this 2-in-1 WWE Elite Series review on the Elite 63 Walmart exclusive Bob Backlund and the Elite Elite 64 Target exclusive Pete Dunn. Guys, thank you so very much for watching. Again, another huge shout out to Mattel for making this review possible and sending us these beautiful, beautiful figures that you can find at your local retailers. Again, Bob Backlund is a Walmart exclusive and Pete Dunn is a Target exclusive. I'm not sure when they're expected to hit retail, but I would guess that Elite 64 and 63 should be popping up very soon. You know, we're already finding 62 with Roman Reigns and the Authors of Pain, so definitely be checking your stores, guys. I think just after the new year, I'm sure they're going to be popping up, so I'm very excited to see when these guys hit. I'm probably going to grab an extra of the Pete Dunn to make a couple of customs or fix-ups like that, but that pretty much does it for my review, guys. Comment down below what you think of Pete Dunn. What do you think of Bob Backlund? Are you going to be picking these figures up? Let me know down in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.